Hello there guys. In this video, we will discuss about Grashev law. Do you know that four bar linkages behave in different manners? Am. No. Look at these four bar linkages. What information can you infer from these linkages? These all are very similar. Exactly. But they behave differently. How? See next. I can swing my both arms. I can rotate my one arm. I can rotate my both arms. That's amazing. Can you guess the reason behind their different behaviors? Yes, it must be due to different length of the links and depending upon which link is fixed. Correct. Is there any relation for this? Yes, it is known as Grashev law. Grashev law? What's that? Let's discuss it. Grashev law. Consider this four bar mechanism. S be the length of shortest link. L be the length of longest link. P be the length of remaining one link. Q be the length of the remaining other link. By Grashev law, for at least one link to be capable of making a full revolution, the sum of the lengths of the smallest link S and the largest link L is less than or equal to the sum of the lengths of other two links, that is P and Q. Got it. The condition can be broken in two parts. First, S plus L is less than P plus Q. Second, to S plus L equals P plus Q. Exactly. What if sum of shortest and longest link is greater than the sum of other two links? For S plus L greater than P plus Q, no link will be able to make a complete revolution. The mechanism so obtained is known as triple rocker mechanism. Yup. All the three links other than fixed link are oscillating. Exactly. Now, we will discuss the Grashev condition. We broke the condition in two parts. First is, S plus L less than P plus Q. Case 1, shortest link is adjacent to fixed link. The mechanism so obtained is known as crank rocker mechanism. Doesn't matter which link is fixed. Fixed link can be any of the other three remaining links. Case 2, shortest link is the fixed link. Mechanism so obtained is known as double crank mechanism. Does the position of other three links matter? No, the position of other three links won't affect the nature of the mechanism. Case 3, shortest link is opposite to the fixed link. mechanism so obtained is known as double rocker mechanism. Can you tell which link is rotating in this mechanism? Yes. It is coupler that is green link which is also the shortest link. Correct. We discuss three cases under the condition S plus L less than P plus Q. Can you summarize the three cases? Yes. Case 1. Link adjacent to shortest link is fixed. This configuration is crank rocker mechanism. Case 2 Shortest link is fixed. This configuration is double crank mechanism. Case 3 Link opposite to shortest link is fixed. This configuration is double rocker mechanism. Before discussing the second part of Grashev condition, we will discuss about inversion. 
Inversion is created by grounding a different link in a kinematic chain. There are as many inversions of a given linkage as it has links. So, for S plus L less than P plus Q, we have four inversions of which three are distinct inversions. First, crank rocker, which is obtained by grounding either of the links adjacent to the shortest link, so they are two in number. Second, double crank, which is obtained by grounding the shortest link, and third, double rocker, which is obtained by grounding link opposite to the shortest link. Now we proceed to discuss the second part of the Grash of Condition. Can you tell what it is? Yes, it is, S plus L equals P plus Q. Correct. In such type of kinematic chain, the links become collinear, at least once, per revolution of input crank. Collinear? What does that mean? Like this, all the links are along a straight line. Got it. In case, the length of the links are distinct, for example, S, 1 unit, L, 4 units, P, 2 units, Q, 3 units. All the inversions obtained are same, as in the case, to S plus L less than P plus Q, which are, crank rocker, for which link adjacent to shortest link is fixed. Double crank, for which shortest link is fixed. Double rocker, for which link opposite to shortest link is fixed. In case, length of two links is same. For example, P equals S equals 1 unit. Let L be 4 units. Now to balance the equation, Q has to be equal to L, that is 4 units. So, we have two pairs of equal length. In this case, links can be joined in two ways. Equal links opposite to each other. The linkage so obtained is parallelogram linkage. Another way is equal links adjacent to each other. The linkage so obtained is deltoid linkage. All the inversions are either crank rocker or double cranks for this case. When the links become collinear, both the linkages suffer from change point condition, that is, the output behavior becomes indeterminate. This is because, the linkage may assume either double crank configuration or crank rocker configuration at these positions, which is unpredictable. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Consider parallelogram linkage. Note that link, A is the input crank. Let's simulate it. As the crank rotates, the links become collinear. This is first change point condition. Now, at this position, motion of link, B becomes unpredictable. It can go either of the two ways. Now as the input crank, that is, link, A, rotates further, links become collinear again. This is second change point condition. Motion of link, B, is again unpredictable at this position. It can go either of the two ways as shown. So, this was all about Grashev law. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and understand the behavior of 4-bar linkages. Yes, now I do understand about it. But, wait, I have a few doubts. Can you elaborate triple rocker mechanism? And, how is triple rocker mechanism different from double rocker mechanism? For that, you should go through these videos.